Hey guys, Gary Dean, ResetCharters.com, DetailJuice.com. I'm out here with my beautiful girlfriend on my uh, 2018 Sea Dew GTX 300 Limited. I'm out here at Beer Can Island, Tampa Bay. We do tours out here pretty regular, and we uh, tie up on the sandbar right here where we're at on the south side of the island. And I guess the vi the point of the video is I want to show you my anchoring system. So it's not something that a lot of people talk about. I'm sure somebody else has done it before, but it's what I use because it's not only very inexpensive, but it's also fantastic. It works amazing, which is what the point here is. I'm sure the audio is shit here on this uh, GoPro. It's a Hero 5. But anyway, you'll notice I have these Airhead bungee uh, ropes here. I also get these stainless steel carabiners uh, from Amazon. But that is a umbrella um, anchor, sand anchor. It's exactly what you see here. Right here. Nothing fancy. It's a plastic umbrella anchor. So if you could take that out of the bag there, that'd be great. So it comes with this mesh bag. You buy them on Amazon. Seven Inside of $7, you can get those. You can get them in white, blue, green, I'm sure assorted other colors. But it's designed to anchor an umbrella in the sand. So I looked at all the other auger anchors on the market and I actually bought one from a, a company that works pretty good, uh, but it was 50, 60 bucks. This thing was 671, I believe. Anyway, so this piece here I'm unscrewing because you can see I have one in there. I actually bought two to keep in my ski to anchor front and back so she doesn't swing around. I mean, you've got a huge radius that this thing could swing around if the tide changes or, or current change. I, I don't know. Anyway, long story short, I generally do just the front, but I bought a second one just because. But I take this plug out because that is what sticks in there and holds the umbrella pole. So you take that out. And what I do is I screw it into the sand which you can see that it's pretty much all the way down there i screwed into the sand and then you can either use a standard dock line like something like this and then uh do clinch um knots which is what you do on a, a fishing hook and they're easy to get undone but they basically is it a clinch or a cinch knot i'm not sure anyway either way that's what I was doing at first until I found these um, airhead bungees that I like now with those stainless steel carabiners. But if you'll notice, what I like to do with these things, you'll notice I have the stainless steel carabiner here, but I take it off just like that. I screw this thing into the sand and then, hold that please, then I take the one side of this and I fasten it to the ski like so and then while it's underwater I'll put this piece inside here a beautiful assistant helping me out and I'll take this guy here and if I can do it with one hand yep so Strap that in, flip it over, pull it, and it's never coming out of there. So that's how I have it fastened over here in the sand. And it's literally never going anywhere. I mean, it, it really does a fantastic job. Um, I've used this probably, well, all summer I've been using this setup. So um, I actually used it with uh, one of my other skis, but it works great. I mean, you can see it's holding it. The current here at Beer Can generally likes to go uh, to the the east, as you see, and it, it does a great job. So anyway, uh, so seven dollars for the actual auger anchor deal, the umbrella. So search on Amazon for umbrella auger anchor, and then, like I said, a standard five six dollar dock line would be totally sufficient. 
but I just took it up, stepped it up a notch and got the bungee rope, the airhead bungee rope. I think that was $12, maybe less than that. That's the five footer that goes up to seven, I believe. And then uh, I buy four packs of those carabiners. I'm pretty sure the four pack is 12 or $13. So you need two per system, but that's it. I hope I uh, was able to help you guys with something that is literally the cheapest anchoring system for my ski. In fact, I've been using, uh, uh, using it with my uh, 17 foot bow rider boat too, and it works awesome. Generally two works better on a heavier boat, but to fasten the boat here at the sandbar is amazing with that setup. And it's the most inexpensive setup that I have found that works flawlessly every single time. So anyway, that's it. And that's for me. That's all for me today out here at Beer Can Island, Tampa Bay. So thank you guys for watching. Check out detailjuice.com for any of your detailing product needs for your sea dew. Uh, we have my brand new ceramic acrylics line and my brand new marine series for uh, specifically for the brand new uh, CM Tech material and any other surface you want to put them on. But the uh, Ceramic Acrylics Pro Hybrid Boost and the Marine Series uh, Hybrid Spray Coating were designed specifically not to harm, but to protect infinitely with proper maintenance, your uh, brand new sea or your Yamaha, your Kawasaki, doesn't matter what it is or even your car. So uh, check out Reset Charters if you guys wanna do a Tampa Bay adventure tour. We do come out here to Beer Can Island uh, pretty regularly. Generally those tours are Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, we give you a lot of free time on the skis. And uh, we also hang out at the island a bit. So 813-846-4406 uh, if you want to book a tour, ask questions, or check out some products. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.